Hello. <laughs> okay, so we are here for a live World Water Day um, call to action. And our video has cut off on us like three times now. So we are going to try this one more time and hopefully it works. So we're gonna just kind of start from the beginning and uh, start seeing if we can get some of the people that were watching back. Sorry, anyone just joining, so sorry. We had two technical difficulties. We think we resolved the problem. Can you start that watch party? Yeah. Um, so we're here for the Ohio River Guardians. We're promoting our event, which is a World Water Day call to action, virtual live, because right now we have, we're in a time where we cannot gather with people out of concern for everybody's safety, which we're so grateful for that we have a chance to uh, respond proactively at a time of world crisis. At the same time, I know that everybody's missing each other, so um, please join in on this live call and we'll be able to tune some of you in with videos, hopefully, if we can get things figured out. But um, today is World Water Day, so we are a group that represents the clean water for Ohio River. There's plans to build 25 petrochemical hubs along the Ohio River, and we would like to not see that happen. So we are here to call out oh, and create awareness to what's happening on our water source, our drinking water source, what, what we feed our plants with, what we drink, what we bathe in, um, and we want clean water. We want ha clean health. So, so if you can create a video, 50 seconds or less, that talks about why clean water, drinking water is important to you and your family, why you feel connected to water, why your appreciation for water, and your connection yeah. to Ohio River. And please share that to your Facebook, to your Instagram, do, and look at the event, and you'll see the hashtags we'd like you to put in your description and then share in our event. And we will compile your videos to a longer video and um, do some storytelling through a longer video. But right now, we just wanna see your pretty faces and hear your love and appreciation for water because it is so essential to life. Mm -hmm. Yay, well, I um, was trying to get a watch party started on my own. So if you are watching this and you want to start a watch party for uh, your friends and family, that's great. Um, as a suggestion for anyone on this day to just take the time right now um, to find some water. Find some water. So pull out your water. If you need a second to go, we don't have any watchers, but when you replay this, I think you can still t tune into this process. Go grab a glass of water. If you just came on, go get some water right now. We're gonna, we're gonna bless our water and we're gonna appreciate it. Yay. Um, so with water in your hands or if you can go, it's today is a beautiful day. So I know we are all quarantined and we're meant to social distance, which is 100% encouraged. So, if, but if you can go alone out into nature, um, please do so. Fresh air is great for you. Um, one second, keep. So I'll tell, tell you, you one you thing are. real quick about um, a, a power of intention and water. Just a little snippet of something I've been playing with. And if you haven't heard of the Dr. Emoto's um, experiments on water and the power of positive thought, I've been brewing my own kombucha, but I've been putting these on my water bottles. They're just little stickers that say things like love, beauty, might say things like divine love, I but I appreciate you. And um, there's experiments that show that <clears throat> that sp sending love to water actually physiologically changes the structure to a really beautiful structure in comparison to the word hate. So if you want to take that up, um, if you have a pen, a sticker, a tape next to you, um, we're asking everybody right now to just get some water and hold it in your hand and I'd like you to take a moment to just pause, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and then just love the water that's you're about to drink. So if you need a minute to do that, that's awesome. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds to get some water and start sending some blessings to the water. Mm. 
And so I'm just visualizing this water giving me health. I'm so grateful for the water that's in my hand. And I'm so grateful for this essential source of life that my body needs, that this earth needs, and that has been given to me by Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Hi, Lindsay, I see you just joined. <clears throat> Today is World Water Day and we're promoting one of our events that if you can create a 50 second or less video of you talking about your love for water, why clean drinking water is important to you, post to your social media, post it to this page, we're going to compile the videos. But right now, we're just taking a moment to get some drinking water and we're going to bless it. I have talked about some stickers on here, just sending love. Now what's really beautiful about doing this through our heart space of loving and blessing our own water. We have a real world crisis of um, these plastic factories or factories that are along the river and we don't have regulations here in Ohio on the Ohio River of what goes into the water. The water is not tested. So we really don't know what we're drinking. So we could need to do everything possible to prevent any hazardous chemicals going into our water. I would love to say we could just drink clean water and trust we know what's in it. but. But here we are just giving gratitude for the water we're drinking. <clears throat> Does anybody have <clears throat> any comments or si any love or appreciation they would like to throw down in the, co in the comments right now? If you could put any comments about your appreciation and love for water, why you're grateful for water, that would be great. I'd be afraid maybe we get some bad answers. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in today, right now, we're just pausing to appreciate our drinking water. Now, together, if you haven't gotten your water, we're going to just take a nice sip and we're going to say thank you. Super thankful for this right now. This water is giving me life and I bless it. And I wish I did this more often, but I'm so grateful to take time to reflect over this that we should take a moment and be grateful for this essential part of life. <clears throat> and uh, we have two, two people that have joined us from Ohio River Guardians. If you want to say hello, we have Mary and Marielle. Mary and Marielle. Mary, if you want to sit here. <clears throat> it's a little Where? steep. Hi, yeah. I'll just peek my head in and say hi everybody. <clears throat> Um, we're going to go ahead and um, I'll start watch party two and then we'll um, <coughs> answer any questions you might have about the petrochemical plant or um, anything really. So <laughs> um, just um, we'll start another watch party two so where you can ask questions and I'm just feeling so grateful to be here with these wonderful women and feel so blessed despite all, every, the, all the craziness that's going on. So. Um, love you, everyone. <clears throat> so I just took a time for everybody, if you have some water, to pull it out. And we're just going to say a prayer. I told everybody to bless oh, and love the water and take a drink in appreciation. So if you want to share a prayer. Yes. Okay, great. So for anybody that's watching right now, if you can get some drinking water or think about water or... Any time today, you can take this with you. Um, this is kind of a prayer visualization. Um, but wherever you are, if you Hi, can, Christina. close your eyes. And in your mind, think about water. Think about the beauty of water. What is your favorite oh, yeah. way <laughs> We've got a dog that we're taking care of as well, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this real quick. What is your favorite water source? Is it a waterfall? Is it a river? Think about your favorite place to go in nature that has water. Think about the rain, the beautiful rains that 
pitter-patter on your window and when they're over you go out and you smell the freshness of spring the life-giving force that grows our plants that feeds us that nourishes us think about how all water that's ever existed exists right now it cycles through our bodies it cycles through all of the systems on our planet Think about how sacred water is. When we say that water is life, feel how much your body is made of water, how your body is made of the beautiful water droplets that go throughout the rivers, that go throughout the streams, that go throughout everything. Think about how beautiful water is. And now I want you to think just for a moment about some of the things that are being done to our water. I want you to think about the massive amounts of garbage in the ocean. I want you to think about chemicals being pumped in to the water. I want you to think about those chemicals being put into your body and how that would feel. And then I want you to think about the earth as a whole. The earth as a living organism that is alive and that feels us in everything that we do. Because we are this earth, we are made of this earth, and this is our time to stand up for the water more than we have ever stood up for the water before. And it is time to stand up for the earth more than we ever have before. Because if she's sick, we're sick. If she's in pain, we are in pain. So please in your heart today, send some love to the water. And send some love to this planet. And send some love to every human being. And I want you to feel hope and I want you to feel strength. Because that is what this earth is. This earth is full of strength. This earth is a goddess, a woman, who has been stepped on, who has been hurt, who has been used for her resources without anybody giving anything back. But we know how beautiful this planet is. And we know that she has the solutions. Because if you look at the beauty of plants growing. And if you look at the beauty of a stream in the sunshine, you know that there is love and there is a beauty that, that is more powerful than any destruction that we could have. So on this World Water Day, let us pray for healing. Let us pray for humans coming together to make choices that are going to regenerate any harm and pain that has come on to our water. And with that, let us open our eyes. Are there any comments? The comments. We have got, ooh, I love somebody said rain. The green growing queen city on the clean flowing Ohio River adds its energy. Thank you so much. So with that, if you have prayed with your water, take a sip of your water. Man, that is good.
That is some good water. This water specifically came from the tap and was put in a Brita filter. Um, it's hard with, we have to educate ourselves on anything that's going on with our water sources. And the reason that the Ohio River Guardians became a group is because of the Appalachian Petrochemical Hub. That is a plan that would make, um, bring a lot of factories and things 